single drop of water. It doesn't seem like it adds up to much, but every drop of water put together adds up to create and affect whole ecosystems. In the Ohio River, the water affects many towns, such as Carrollton, Madison, and Louisville. water coming out of your tap may have traveled a long way before it got there. And you expect your drinking water to be clean and safe to drink. But we know that water can get messy because of human waste and industry. And that's why Keratin Utilities and North American Stainless have designed elegant solutions to cleaning up wastewater produced by humans. Carrollton Utilities has created a primarily natural sewage treatment facility for the surrounding town's waste. North American Stainless has implemented chemical and mechanical methods for removing harmful metals from its own wastewater. Both companies take in water that originally comes from the environment and when their processes are complete, the water is returned safely to the Ohio River. Keratin Utilities uses a system of lagoons followed by biofiltration and UV light treatment to clean up sewage and remove harmful bacteria. At the beginning of the process, after the wastewater has pumped to Keratin Utilities plant, large solids and garbage are removed from the water, shredded and deposited in a waste container. Once the large solids are removed, the water goes to the two lagoon ponds to settle and be cleaned. Within the lagoons, bacteria break down human waste, transforming chemicals like ammonia, methane, and hydrosulfic acid into non-harmful nitrates, CO2, and sulfates. Within the anaerobic layer, bacteria and microbes that cannot survive in oxygenate environments break down sludge and chemicals. In the aerobic layer, bacteria and chemical reactions Finish up the cleanup of harmful chemicals while fresh oxygen comes in from the atmosphere. After about two to three weeks, the water is pumped from the lagoons up to the bio towers, which are filled with a mesh of plastic covered in diverse microbes. The microbes eat bacteria and nutrients as the water filters down by gravity. The water then enters clarifier tanks where any large particles that remain settle to the bottom and slowly decompose. At this point the water leaves the clarifier and is tested for various chemicals and bacteria. In the lab, technicians use simple chemistry to check that no dangerous bacteria are present in large populations. At this point the water is mostly free of contaminants. After testing, the water is then treated with high power UV radiation, which kills almost all remaining bacteria. Finally, the water is reoxygenated as it flows through a set of stepped falls, then it is directed back safely towards the river. Carrot Utility's system is primarily biological, relying on the natural chemical reactions of the environment to break down human waste. North American Stainless, on the other hand, uses a primarily chemical process for treating its own wastewater. Because of the nature of the steel making process, North American Stainless uses water from the Ohio River to cool and clean its products. This results in the contamination of the water with heavy metals such as iron, chromium, nickel, and zinc among others. In large quantities, these metals can have dramatic and dangerous effects on the environment, which is why it is crucial to North American Stainless to purify its wastewater. 
North American Stainless goes through extensive efforts to make sure that all of these heavy metals are monitored and controlled to be within regulatory limits. This way, the people and wildlife living downstream are protected from harm. Throughout the steel making process, the water has become highly acidic due to the industrial acids used in the steel making process. When the water enters these stepped tanks, the pH is very low, less than 2. The pH is then gradually raised as a polymer and bases are added, causing the metals to clump and precipitate out. At higher, more basic pH, most of the chemicals used in steel are less soluble in water. As the pH rises and polymer is added, the metals precipitate out and form solid particles that slowly settle. The settling continues inside a clarifier. As the solids collect, they are moved into a separate mechanism. The sludge is then pressed between two belts to remove as much water as possible. The sludge waste is taken to a designated dumping zone while the water is sent back to be treated again. The now mostly clean water is checked for pH, then filtered through sand filters. Finally, the water is re-oxygenated by an aerator mechanism and samples are taken to check for purity. In the lab, samples are taken and thoroughly checked for harmful contaminants. North American Stainless's lab uses an ICP AE spectrometer to analyze the water samples for high levels of metals used in their product. This precaution protects the environment from the potentially hazardous materials. When the process is complete, the water is returned to its source, the Ohio River. Although both their methods and purposes are very different, both Keraton Utilities and North American Stainless pride themselves on providing safe and environmentally friendly methods of cleaning wastewater. They do this to protect all those living downstream. So remember, every drop of water that comes back from their treatment processes add up, and because of their hard work, we can rely on the water that comes from our tap to be safe for us and the environment.